so many time you probably have seen many people are attempting to do 100 days of rtl coding and that's a really nice idea to develop their rtl skill and also to help other or motivate other to do that so i thought why not i should help to do the same kind of thing to all my subscriber so that they can also bring their own version of 100 days of rtl code and what could be the better time than the birthday month of our channel hawaii rd so i thought in this all 30 days of september i will try um not try must bring 30 days of Verilog coding and for Verilog coding we will use a very nice tool and that is your SDL Vits and I am very thankful to Henry Wong probably I am pronouncing right uh, who is the creator of this wonderful tool so this tool is something like we have latte code for coding but this is something like that stretcher for the Verilog you can submit your code they have their result they will check everything and if your result pass all the test case then only you, you will get a success message so it's a very nice way to learn very log or to practice your very log and get the real-time feedback so what we gonna do every day we will try to solve at least one problem if time permit more than one problem and i strongly suggest in the beginning you can just see my video and you can rep try to replicate everything but after like five or ten days please try to solve that video by yourself your own self and then only come to this video and see if the way you have done the approach is same with me or not so if you know nothing about Verilog then also you can go along with me because I will try my best to explain whatever needed to do that particular problem but it is again strongly recommended that you should have done your introduction to very low coding and for that the better resource we have free resource and that is NPTEL course from IIT Kharagpur at least first 20 lecture you should have seen and then this practice would be very easy but if you haven't seen it yet then also you can start with me day one I will try to explain you a th few things few things probably you won't understand but as you go through those lecture from IIT Kharagpur and PTL everything would be clean and clear you can also see one lecture each day and by the 30 days ended by the September of 2023 is get ended I think you would be in a level from where you can tackle you can crack any very log based interview or screening exam so only 30 days what we needed only 30 days of hard work and only 30 days of concentration so let with so be with me and please keep liking every video i want average 50 like in each video so what's the difference between a very low code or the very low coding and other conventional coding like c c plus plus python what are the different why we need a new language uh, in layman's language you can say hey uh, very low code will make the hardware and that hardware will be used to run other languages like C, C++, Python. So it's something like chicken and egg situation, <laughs> right? But yeah, uh, in serious note, actually we have many differences and there are four, four key differences. For Verilog, we need to have a capability of uh, running it parallelly because we know hardware can run concurrently, right? And such things are not missing in conventional coding, but, but by default, they are not there, right? But in Verilog, from zero onward, there should be concurrency. That's the one thing. Then we also need to have a notion of time. Hardware have the delay, right? In very long from day zero, there should be some representation by which we can represent the delay of the hardware, right? Also, hardware used to have many bits, like 32 bits, 64 bits. So we need to have some capability by which we can define those bits or the bus bus capabilities. And also we need to have electrical characteristics. For example, there are some driver. Driver means anything which, which is driving the other circuit. And driving the other circuit means they are providing the voltage, mostly potential difference. So there are some situation if you seen some circuits, right? So there what happened? like something is charging your circuit your capacitor and another connection will be discharging your capacitor so that time the strong driver which have the more flowing of charges for sure will win over the weak 
weak driver so if the signal which is charging your capacitor is the strong driver then the signal which is discharging your circuit uh, capacitor will lose and for sure at the steady state our capacitor will get charges so that type of differentiation we need to have and that's why Verilog is very much different for all our conventional coding but the good news is that if you know any coding any coding then Verilog would be very easy for you but we also need to have some digital electronics basics because we are gonna build digital electronics so we need to have those theory so Verilog is like as I said many times it is like your digital electronics and the coding skill combine these two you have the new language and that is called the Verilog if you go to the problem set just go to the problem uh, sets uh, browse problem you will see how beautif beautiful these contents are you have almost all the very low code which as a beginner as a fresher we need so i am not sure how much time it to took uh, it will take us to finish everything and i am not committing for that on also i am only committing for first 30 days but if you can finish everything then for sure i don't know who can in the world deny you a great job opportunity for sure you will be a great fit for rtl design engineer so let's start our video so the first problem is getting started and yeah before that you can make your one um, login id so that you can see like in profile you can see your stat uh, what's your ranking so that's a nice thing step one they are just explaining what they are here what they are doing here one important thing is that the circuit synthesis is done using this software and the simulation is done using model sim which is very popular and these are the final steps like final status after you submit any code you will have a compilation error or simulation error or incorrect or success our aim is always to have a success so how they are working actually here they will provide you a problem and they have the answer that answer is already stored there you need to prepare an answer answer or a circuit and if your circuit ex exactly circuits output exactly match with their circuits output then you will get a like design mismatch or the answer mismatch as zero right i'll show you when I, i'll do the first problem so here, here is the first problem statement so congratulations we are starting to code practically code on very long and it, like it's very nice things to learn very long it's really nice so here they are saying and it would be very easy because we are just starting so don't worry problem statement is that we are going to start with a small bit of HDL yeah and they are saying uh, what's the problem yeah build a circuit with no input and one output okay and that output should always drive one so it is like we are not giving any input but output should come as one and they have given us the code snippet so there we need to write our code so if you have never worked with Verilog or if you have never gone through any lecture this thing this uh, thing might seems little unusual to you but these are like your function in general coding if you have learned about function then module is the way how we define a function in Verilog there are a little bit of the differentiation are there or you can consider module as a piece of circuit for example you have a inverter right so inverter will have in and out and then to define a module we will write it, it like that module inverter and inside we will define hey we have a output and which is called out or anything for example we have defined it now it's a and b so we will define our module or the piece of circuit as output equal to b and input equal to a right so likewise we define module so that's a simple definition of module it's like you are defining the piece of circuits and then you can take those pieces of circuits for example you have a AND gate and a NOT gate so you can take both of these two modules and you can make an AND gate so we have this module and this module name is called top module so this one is our output and in the problem statement they already have said that we don't need any input so that's why we are not defining any input or else what we would have done like if we need input then probably we would have uh, written like this input and then something like a or b uh, right but here we don't need it so input i am just deleting and then they are saying hey assign one because our output should drive one to one always that is the problem statement so it's very easy just write like cut down delete it and write one and i hope we are done with this then submit and um, that 
uh, simulator will print many many messages there will be many warning you don't need to see warning there is good way like it is always good to eliminate warnings but again warnings are warnings we can ignore them but if there is error we need to solve them so the good thing is that we got a success but after that there are a few things which are very important thing and these are your timing diagram so they are showing that hey this is your your timing diagram so in my time timing diagram my output is always one which is the requirement right in the reference which they have solved for their self they are also it is always one so in the mismatch we have a zero so always our mismatch like between their answer and our answer mismatch should be zero if anywhere it become one then we are not doing it perfectly and we'll get a error message here for example let us try something uh, instead of one let me write zero and let me submit it and you'll see what it will show you and see it is showing me status is incorrect and they are showing see here mismatch previously it was zero but now it is one so mismatch is one so which we don't want it so let me correct it or you correct it and submit so that's the first problem first problem is done so let me do the second problem also so second problem is or you can just go down and i think here we have uh, yeah zero next problem is there so just click here was the next problem i think it would be a very easy one so that's why i said now uh, if you know nothing about verilog also then also you can start with this wonderful tool so here what's the problem statement they are saying build a circuit with no input and one output with output a constant zero <laughs> which we already have done so let me do it let's just go down and here output is zero um, yeah output is zero and here see they, they are they are doing some some different thing here so now they are they have changed the structure actually previously they were giving us like a sign and then something but now they are playing trick with us but we know it so we'll do assign like anytime you want to assign anything there are many many uh, different theories are there but for now just assume that if you write as assign and then zero and zero two what we need two zero then the problem is done so i'll submit so see we are having some error and error is that verilog syntax error uh, okay there, there is some syntax error actually uh, what's the syntax error syntax error is saying me they are expecting a semicolon and in my code see i have missed a semicolon here so that's why probably we are getting a syntax error so again submit it and it took well, like around five to ten seconds after you submit to get an answer like if it's successful or not and wonderful we got a success and you can check out here and also we have a warning in warning it is showing hey your output pin is stuck to vcc or ground and that is obvious right our output is getting to zero so that's why the warning so we can ignore this warning and i have a one question for you please comment down below if you know it and that is please tell me who is the inventor of verilog i'll give you the answer in our next video so that's all from day one but i'll strongly suggest you please do this thing and and please start with your nptl uh, lecture also if you have never been through any verilog coding